this. You're in Asia. It's after midnight, and you think everyone's asleep. But for me, gallivanting late at night in Seoul, to basking in the after midnight decadence of Hong Kong and the blissful parties of Shanghai, I've begun to understand one thing. Asian cities never sleep past midnight. My name is Jamie Aditya, your jaded daytime tourist and after midnight traveler. Ho Chi Minh City, or the city formerly known as Saigon, is rising like a phoenix from the motorbike fumes and fast becoming the mega metropolis that most of her neighbors already are. This is my first foray into Vietnam. And I must admit that I don't know all that much about the land of Uncle Ho beyond the Vietnamese cuisine that I love to a fault. But I'm here with an open mind, heart and belly ready to embrace the culture and the people for whom pho is a staple. And I'm counting on my Vietnamese friends to teach me a thing or two about their heritage. It's after 12. Ho Chi Minh City, hey ho, let's go! Well, what do you know? I finally made it to Vietnam. This is the first time I've ever been to Vietnam. I'm here in Ho Chi Minh City. It's very uh, hot and humid. I always thought it would be the place teeming with bicycles, but this is definitely a motorcycle city. In the meantime, I'm going to try and cross this street here. Ah! Oh! Ah! I made it! Oh, interesting. Check this out, man. During the war, like, international coverage of the war was uh, done by journalists either staying at the Hotel Continental or across the street at the Caravelle Hotel. Want to know something else? Graham Greene, the novelist, he was staying at the Hotel Continental uh, Saigon when he wrote the, uh, uh, what was the name of his book again? The Quiet American. There you go. You knew that? You must have read the same in-flight magazine as I did on the, way, on the way over. Oh, wow. The Saigon Opera House. You're supposed to meet a friend here. Hello there. Well, if it isn't Brittany. You finally made it here. I did. I'm in Ho Chi Minh. And you know, something told me you were going to rock up on a moped. Well, I had to. I like the cane. You like the cane? How are you doing? Let's go. Brittany! You ready to go to Cuba? I am ready to go to Cuba. Wherever it is, you just lead the way. Let's go. So off we go to satiate my constant craving for football. And Brittany tells me that we're heading for a restaurant where the in crowd typically flocks to after a wild night of party. The chaotic excitement that greets us on our arrival sure makes me forget how we the hours are. I'm ready for some pho, pho ball. Pho ball. Oh, pho ball. I heard uphill and ngô bin, but oh, I didn't hear you, you pho ball. <laughs> This is not football. No, this is. But I know what this is. This is testicles. I can see that already. Well, this okay. is some sort of penis or something. Hey, just try this. Oh, <laughs> Come on. No. Hey, I'll, just, I'll even feed it to you. Uh, Come on. I don't care just if you close your eyes. me or. No. It's okay. not that bad. Football. This is a penis. Is that the look of penis? It looks like a chopped up piece of penis, yes. Okay, look, I'll have a little bit of this one, okay? Okay, a little bit of meat. The whole thing. Oh, yay! Mm. <laughs> I don't like the texture. Full ball, please. Full ball here. Two. Hot. I, I never thought that uh, Brittany was the sort of woman that would try to put a ox penis in my mouth. Ox penis. I just want to say that it doesn't get any lower. Than getting between what a you know getting between a man and what he loves. 
I don't think he even tasted it. I don't know. Did he taste it? I think he kind of just like, not even bite into it. Did he, I don't know. God. It hurts me, you know? And even after the full came, you know? I could, all I could taste was the uh, ox penis. I don't want to talk about it. Can we turn that off now? I get the real treat that I deserve. Uh, yeah. mm. In more ways than one. As the sun sets over the French colonial architecture that characterizes the Saigon cityscape, and the hard-working heartlanders retire with the dimming rays, nocturnal city crawlers like myself come out to play. John! Hey, Jamie. What are you doing, man? Look at that. Heard about your toe. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. Long, sad story. You don't want to hear it. It's broken. That's the fact. None of this is good. None of this is good. Why? No, no, no. I made plans for us to go bowling. Bowling? For on the street in Vietnam. Yes, Ho Chi Minh City. Mm. Ang, 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 Sinmai. Ang, ang, Sinmai. Ang, ang. I got the tone wrong, right? Oh, yeah. This is something worse. Sin? Hmm? Like you. Like a very, very hostile way. I like that, you know? Everybody says I should show a bit of backbone. I'm too nice. I like that. I'm going to keep that. Yeah, Thank that you. wasn't nice. I don't care. I, I like it, okay? That's the new Jamie right now. More. Hi. Bob. Yo, so what's this? This is the... This is Ho Yet Long. Ho Yet Long. Ho Yet Long. Yeah. Let me guess. It's an egg. Yeah, it's an egg. Ah, I see. My Vietnamese is getting better. Ho Yet Long. It's a delicacy, actually. Everyone who comes here loves Oh, no. You're not talking about, you know, there's, a, there's not a little duck in there about, you know, a week away from hatching. Yeah, so once again, someone has lured me in with... Football, knowing very well that it's one of my favorite foods in the world, so there I am. Ah, finally, football. And then, as I'm getting into it, moves it away, and boop, in comes the baby duck. Not yet hatched, feathers intact. And you know, when we opened it up, uh, the skull. You know, you know how babies, the skull isn't so it isn't fused together yet. As soon as we opened up. Half his face fell off, and I could see his little tiny little brain, and it was horrible. Are you happy now? Is that what you wanted to see? It scarred me forever. Yeah, okay. Now, pho is just a precursor to some boiled goat rectum or something, you know? How do you like your pho? Uh. Do you just throw all the? Do you throw all the vegetables in? Yeah. I know a place here where. She can make the pho for us, uh -huh. and you'll see everything that goes into it. So let's just go straight to the, can we cut to the chase? Yeah, so let's go eat pho. Wow, this is amazing. Let's go eat pho. Let's go. We are here. Aha, uh -huh, and where is here? Bep Bep nya means Bep house nya. kitchen. Kitchen. Kitchen house. Kitchen house. Okay. We're definitely going to have some football here. Football, yeah? yes. No ox penis. We're here to watch and make fun. Hi, Ah, the block the chicken. Egg. So this is all, uh, these are all the vegetables that we were looking at. Earlier. There's a little bit of a, uh, that's sort of like the garnish on top, right? Yeah. So basically, uh, it's the uh, pho noodles. Which is and rice bean noodles, and bean sprouts, some uh, shallots finely chopped with some fresh onions. Yeah. And then she just and it's lovely and lean water. with the meat. Water and okay. water and then pour this in. Voila. And then this cooks the meat. What's in the broth? I mean, I don't know. So this is Ho Chi Minh City. Well, she may not be the hardcore nocturnal sleepless city that some of her neighbors are, but she can certainly offer pockets of activities for night owls to enjoy. As the sun starts to rise majestically over the Saigon River, it provides the perfect setting 
for my musings. Ho Chi Minh City exudes a youthful, energetic vibe. It has only recently jumped on the bandwagon of express progress, and the city is abuzz with excitement. She just might be Asia's next big thing. <laughs>